Top 10 Places to Visit in Belgium 1. Medieval Bruges Bruges is one of the most visited cities in Belgium due to its medieval architecture and thoroughly romantic ambience. Bruges canals are one of its most charming features, and no visit to the town is complete without a scenic canal boat tour. From the water, tourists can enjoy a different perspective of the city. Land lovers can likewise stroll along the canals to watch the boats go by, and the local tourist office has free walking tours available. A particular note are the mansions along the Diver Canal, some of which now house museums. The historic center's two main squares, Berg Square, also known as simply the Berg, and the Mark Square, sit adjacent to each other in the middle of the city. Mark Square is surrounded by several impressive buildings, but the How and its 83-meter belfry are by far the most imposing structure. The belfry, which was started in 1282 and completed in 1482, is home to 47 bells and a viewing area for tourists who are brave enough to climb the 366 steps to the top. 2. Upper Meuse Valley The Meuse River splits the country north and south, E42 from Liege to Namur, and from there to Dinant. The valley is known for its idyllic small towns, dramatic limestone cliffs, and lush forests that are riven with trails. Namur, also called Maimon, sits in the heart of the valley and is home to several historic landmarks, as well as a large university. The Namur Citadel sits on an outcropping above the town and is a fun place to explore, as well as an excellent spot for panoramic views of the valley. 3. Brussels, the heart of Europe the capital city of Brussels is a must-see destination for any tourist visiting Belgium, home to not only the seat of the Belgian royal family, but also the central offices of the European Union. Thanks to the diverse mix of the city's residents, Brussels is known for its variety of restaurants and cafes that represent many gastronomic heritages. In addition to a thriving and lively city center, the old town is home to many historic landmarks and fine examples of Baroque and Gothic architecture. In the heart of the old town, tourists will find the main square, the Grand Place, Grote Mark. This is home to the imposing Brussels Town Hall, Hotel de Ville de Bruxelles, as well as the city's numerous historic guild houses, guild highs. 4. Memorials and Battlefields of Flanders Tourists who want to visit some of the most important battlefields, memorials, and conflict-related landmarks will want to start their pilgrimage in Ypres the site of some of the most brutal trench warfare during World War I. To get a good overview of the area's involvement in history, as well as see artifacts from the conflicts, visit the Flanders Fields Museum, located in Ypres' historic Lakenhau, on its main square, the Grote Mark. After visiting Ridsoport, the fortified gate, where British soldiers set up the command center, tourists typically begin the battlefield tour from Menin Gate. It was from Menin Gate, the troops marched into battle, and today it also serves as a memorial to the British soldiers who never returned home after the battles. 54,896 names are inscribed in its surface, and last post has been sounded at this spot every night at 8 p.m. since 1928. 5. Antwerp, the cultural capital of Flanders. The port city of Antwerp has many cultural and historic sites to explore. It's known both for its industry and artistic influences. The majority of the city's most significant buildings are on and around the Grand Place, Grote Mark, in the center of the old town. In this area, tourists will find the 16th century town hall, Stadhuis, the Butcher's Hall, Vlieshuis, and Rubens House, Rubensuis. Those arriving by train into the impressive central station, Midden Stady, will find a treat waiting for. Them next door at Chocolate Nation, the world's largest Belgian chocolate museum. This is a big hit with families, conveniently adjacent to the Antwerp Zoo. The zoo, which was founded in 1843, is known not only for its population of over 950 species, but also for its beautiful Art Deco architecture and stylized animal habitats. 6. Canals, Castles, and Cathedrals of Ghent Tourists who want to enjoy the romantic atmosphere of a medieval town without the crowds of Bruges will want to visit Ghent, a rival in architectural and historical significance. The majority of Ghent's historic guild houses can be found along the Graselli Canal and the Corn Lake Canal, including the Cornstapelbuis, 
which dates from the early 13th century. The Gildahu Istermetzelars, House of the Masons, built in 1527, and the Tolish Customs House, which was built in 1682. Those lucky enough to visit in the evening should make time for a canal boat cruise to appreciate the sight of these lovely buildings lit. From below, 7. Mons Bergen. Located near the French border, Mons sits between the Truil and Hain rivers along the route between Paris and Brussels. The Grand Place de Mons sits in the city center and is home to several historic buildings, as well as plenty of shops, cafes, and restaurants along its picturesque cobblestone streets. The City Hall, Hotel de Ville de Mons, stands at the head of the city's main square, and the remaining four sides of the large courtyard are flanked by buildings dating to the 15th through 18th centuries. 8. Leuven Located about 30 kilometers east of Brussels, Leuven sits on the River Didel and is home to one of the country's oldest and most famous universities. Tourists can see many fine examples of Gothic and other architectural styles on the university campus and throughout the city, starting with Leuven City Hall that features 236 figures on its ornate facade. Just next door, across the Grote Markt, sits Street Peter's Church, St. Peterskirk, a fine cathedral built in the Brabant Gothic style that houses the Museum of Religious Art. The university's most historic buildings can also be found nearby along the Namcestra. 9. The Beaches of Belgium Although most people don't immediately think of beaches when planning a trip to Belgium, the West Coast offers several excellent choices for those who want to soak up some sun and take a dip. Nakheist is one of the best known of Belgium's beach resort communities and is located near the Dutch border, only about 19 kilometers from Bruges. The town has four beaches along its 12-kilometer coastline, as well as numerous walking, hiking, and cycling trails that wander through the dunes. Visitors will find that Nock is also home to an astounding number of art galleries, as well as two excellent museums about local and Belgian history. 10. Dynant The town of Dynant is located 28 kilometers south of Namur, and is a popular place to visit for tourists. In the upper Meuse Valley, it has a beautiful citadel, which affords excellent views of the town. The limestone cliffs of the city have been fortified since the 11th century, and today tourists can explore the battlements, as well as the former barracks, kitchens, and dungeons. Visitors can reach the citadel via a tram that departs from the Collegiale Notre Dame de Dinant. The 16th century Collegiate Church of Notre Dame is another of Dinant's major landmarks featuring a 100-meter onion dome and a unique perch in the side of the cliffs below the citadel. The Meuse Bridge is an excellent spot for photography, and boating on the Meuse River is a popular activity in Dynant. The town is also known for being the birthplace of Adolphe Sax, the inventor of the first saxophone, and visitors will find multiple monuments honoring him throughout the town, as well as toward his former home, which is now a museum. What do you think of my video? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video.